Hey you guys, welcome to the Thicky Thicky Fat Nutritionist. I'm your girl Mimi, and today I have a super fun episode for you today. We're gonna be doing experiments. And so what I have laid out for you today, chia seeds, steel cut oats, unsweetened coconut, and then I have uh, an apple, honey crisp, it's my favorite. I have brown rice here, and then I have some chopped pecans. Now, can anyone tell me what do all of these items have in common? Can't figure it out? Well, stay tuned. We're gonna get right into it. right here. We have an apple, some chopped pecans, chia seeds, steel cut oats, unsweetened coconut, and brown rice. Did you get it? Today we're talking about fiber. Yes, fiber. Actually, fibers with an S. And then you have soluble fiber. So let's look at the soluble fibers first. Soluble simply means that the fiber dissolves in water. Insoluble means just the opposite. This fiber does not dissolve in water. In fact, insoluble fiber remains intact. I think of this type of fiber as kind of the Brillo pad that's you know, for your digestive system. Neither one is really more important than the other one. They're both just as important. Soluble fibers help with diarrhea. Now, insoluble fibers are the fibers that help with constipation. So as you can tell, you need them both. They kind of work together. However, some foods have more of one fiber than the other, but that's okay. You don't have to really worry about that the whole point is just to make sure you're eating a variety of foods that give you fiber. So if you're wondering how much fiber is enough fiber in your diet, well, according to the American Heart Association, um, 25 grams of fiber in a diet that's 2,000 calories per day is enough fiber for that ratio. Now that number can also uh, vary depending on the age, depending on uh, male or female, if you're very active or if you're sedentary. So if you're sedentary, you may not need more versus um, an athlete who may need lots of fiber. Some other good things about fiber, um, soluble fiber, because it does soak up water, it creates bulk in your stomach. So people talk about fiber whenever they're looking to lose weight. You'll see supplements in the grocery store about fiber or xylem husk being the fiber that um, helps control your appetite. I recommend you eat your nutrients versus um, taking a supplement. fibers because they remain intact they pass through your system a little bit faster however that's what's helping your body to create stool eh, not a popular topic to talk about but hey this is nutrition so since we're talking about stool think of let's look at the chia seed now what I did was I did an experiment that I want to share with you all what I did was I took this is a tablespoon of chia seed and I added water. I wanna say this is two tablespoons of water. So I added two tablespoons of water. Now, if you think in terms of what this type of fiber does in your body, this should encourage you to drink more water. 
Fiber is a great nutrient to have in your body. It's definitely a necessary nutrient to have in your body, but without water, it can cause some havoc. Take a look at this video and see how these chia seeds transform in the water. here it's the same chia seeds and then I have about two and a half tablespoons of water so all you have to do if you want to try this at home is just mix this up give it a gentle stir now let me tell you about chia seeds chia seeds are to me they're really like a superfood because they help so much um, with regards to providing that necessary soluble fiber that your body needs. Now I'm just gonna let this video run. And then I wanna show you the end result of those chia seeds that I use in the video. check this out I'm not sure if you can see this but you see how watery you know this mixture is and just as it sits it will thicken it's kind of like the seeds are drinking these uh, seeds actually germinate as well and so if you I'm just gonna leave these here and that way you all can check them out whenever I take another stir this is two tablespoons of chia seeds. It has soaked up all of the water and what I let it, uh, I just let it sit for 24 hours. Now, obviously because that was um, a little bit of water, but imagine trying to pass your food with not enough water in your system. Now, the one in the, the other one that's in the, the one that's actually in the video, now this one had enough water. So this was two tablespoons and this was one tablespoon. And because it had enough water, I added the same amount of water. You can see how this is still nice and pliable and soft. Basically what I'm trying to explain to you is increasing fiber in your diet without a proper amount of water can really have a negative effect. So I wanna go back to those items that I had. Most medium-sized apples, you can get four and a half grams of fiber, and that's with the skin, because the fiber, most of the fiber is in the skin. Actually, an apple has insoluble fiber and soluble fibers, so that's win-win. I also have brown rice. Brown rice will give you about 3.5 grams of fiber per cup. So, and I believe a cup of rice is a normal serving. Just check the, the side of the box. Now, for my dear chia seeds, yes, look at this. Look, it has soaked up. This is only one tablespoon, one tablespoon 
of chia seeds. It has almost doubled in size. Now, chia seeds, you can add chia seeds. I don't know if you can know if you can tell, but I love chia seeds. But you can add chia seeds to oatmeal, you can add chia seeds to your smoothies. And let me tell you, they don't change the flavor. In fact, even if I taste this now, it has no flavor at all. So I just want to let you know, you can't eat this, but eating this by itself really gives you no, no flavor. You may get a little bit of texture, um, but they're super, super, super tiny. Um, so you may get a little bit of a crunch, but not much that it's distracting or it changes whatever it is that you're eating at the time. So yes, I like to put these in my oatmeal. You can put them in a smoothie. You can put them in your yogurt. And this is, like I was saying, this is a tablespoon. A tablespoon is typically the serving, but two tablespoons will give you 10 grams of soluble fiber. Oats have both fibers in it as well. So that's also a win-win. It has two grams, and this is per serving, two grams of soluble and then two grams of insoluble. Of course, you know it's low in cholesterol, low fat, low sodium, so oatmeal is definitely a filling breakfast. I also had the coconut. You can buy the sweetened version of the coconut if that's your choice, but I like the unsweetened version and the unsweetened sweetened coconut will provide about four grams of fiber in your diet. I want to say the, the last thing that I had available was the chopped pecans. Now, I like chopped pecans. Pecans, it, that, it just reminds me of being at home, have a pecan pie. Um, now, pecans will provide you a substantial amount of fiber. However, pecans, let's say if you had a cup of pecans, a cup of pecans is about 70 or so grams of fat. So you have to be careful about how you're getting your fiber. Fiber is great, but just be aware of the other nutrients that you're providing yourself with or providing your body. So pecans in small doses, you know, any type of nuts are going to have like the oils and the fats in them. So just eat them in moderation. So just as fiber can be a great thing, fiber can also cause some negative effects. Again, if you're not drinking enough water. In fact, if you're giving your body too much fiber, one of the things you'll notice or one of the symptoms you'll notice is gassiness bloating you may have some constipation you may also have some um, cramping in your stomach so you definitely want to make sure you're getting enough water in your diet so i know that was a lot of information the goal is to just make sure you're eating a variety of foods and you want to get in at least 25 grams of fiber. Very important to make sure you talk to your doctor before starting any dietary regimen. At the end of the day, you want to make sure you eat your nutrients and drink your water. All right, you guys, that's my show for today. So make sure to like this video, subscribe, share this video with your friends. If you have any comments, please leave them below and I will try my best to make sure to get back to you. Let's prosper through serving others. See you next week.